Hey guys, it's me Destiny and I come to you today with yet another makeup minute based on palleting. If you guys don't know, I recently moved and I'm trying to get everything really organized and everything really compact and everything really streamlined. So I've been going a little bit of palleting crazy. Today I'm going to show you how to palette some of your eyeshadows. I have so many eyeshadows from L'Oreal to CoverGirl, Wet n Wild, um, the Hip Duos, everybody. Um, so I wanted to show you an idea. I bought this from the dollar store. And as you can see, it is a document holder. When you open it, it's very rem reminiscent of a palette. So basically what I'm going to do is take an eyeshadow. This one is CoverGirl. I'm gonna take a paring knife, wiggle it down in there. Had it prepped for me. But it's gonna pop right out pretty much. You really don't need to do the heat and everything like that. I mean, I haven't had to. And basically, I'm going to take it and stick it in my palette, okay? And the wonderful thing about this is you can use both sides. This was only one dollar, okay? So you can use both sides. It's see-through. You can label it. And then you can reuse it or throw it away when you finish your pants. It's only a dollar. And then this is another idea that I got from the dollar store. Double layers. And this is metal, so if you want to do your magnets, you can do it with this one. It's two layers. You can use this for lip pencils, eyeshadows. You can depot in um, palletized blushes or anything in this one. And then I also have this one, which is two layers which I will probably just be gluing those in because I don't have magnets. And it has a really cute little lamb on the front. And then what I also bought was this thing, okay? And I got that from the dollar store and my palettes will fit nicely into here and it will help me to be a lot more organized. I will be able to use more of my eyeshadow because they will be in more plain sight. They will be in drawers and in boxes and in socks and in the refrigerator, wherever you keep your eyeshadow. And I also even depotted, let me see. I also depotted one of these and my duos. So I'm gonna be doing that. But another thing you could use, you could use CD cases, you could use DVD cases, you could use those pencil cases that sell in the dollar store that pop open for the pencils and you can pop it into a binder. It has the three wing, the three ring holes, um, holders. That's awesome. I didn't get one of those because I was like, oh my God, I'm gonna OD and then I'm gonna have a whole bunch of palettes. So I said, let me just um, get these and show my girls. I've made this one, it's not done drying. But these are basically just my blues and my purples. And um, I have Revlon, I have L'Oreal, I have Max Factor, and I have CoverGirl. The only thing that's gonna be hard about this is I'll have to probably put the names on the back. But a lot of these came from palettes, little mini palettes, like um, the CoverGirl quads. Okay, so I'm gonna have to put like Spice Quad or Tropical Quad so when I'm doing tutorials, you guys know which ones I'm using. Okay, so I mean there are millions of videos on depotting. Basically you take a paring knife, a safety pin, or a tweezer. I've been having really good luck with tweezers. And you just wedge it down. Your eyeshadow will have like a little space and you wedge it down, wiggle it, wiggle it, pop. You're going to start to hear the glue peel, but you have to be patient because you don't want to stab your eyeshadow. I've done it plenty of times. I've broken a few. I'm kind of upset, but you can easily fix that with some alcohol. Okay, so that's pretty much it for the makeup minute. I'm just looking around to make sure I t address everything that I wanted to. And basically, most of the eyeshadows, when you peel them, they'll still be sticky from their original um, potting situation. They'll still have adhesive. But you can also just get some glue, pop it on there, let it dry for a few minutes, turn it over, and press it. And pretty much, I have this one right here. And I'm really excited about it because it's gonna really help me to be a lot more organized and a lot, I'm gonna be able to use a lot more of my eyeshadows. Okay, so I hope this guy, I hope this is very helpful for you guys. Stay tuned because videos are coming. My ear is feeling better, my furniture is coming. I'm excited, fall is my favorite season in California, I'm happy. So uh, stay tuned guys, I look forward to talking to you. So stay in touch, keep in touch. Wait, how's it going? 
I'll be in touch and hopefully you'll do the same. Bye.